Hey, good morning to you. Uh, hopefully this live will uh, keep going. I just got to notice that my <laughs> internet connection was a little low. Uh, so this morning I'm uh, at the MRI place with my wife. And due to new restrictions, I get to sit in the car while she does her MRI. Fortunately, I brought uh, the office uh, with me. <laughs> and so I'm at least able to get some work done while I'm here. Uh, but today I want to get into the topic of God knows more about leading you, and there's a, an ending to that, than you know about following him. So many years ago, a friend of mine was telling me a story about a very challenging time he was going through, and he was crying out to God, I just don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, what am I going to do next, how am I supposed to deal with this? And he said, almost audibly, he heard God saying to him, I know more about leading you than you know about following me. And it's very interesting, this morning in my Bible study time, I was going through the book of Exodus, and in particular, I was in the chapter where the Israelites are crossing the Red Sea. And so uh, as you go through that, uh, before they get to the uh, the parting of the sea, they're complaining about, oh, what are we doing out here in the wilderness? You've brought us out here to die. There's not enough grave sites in, uh, in uh, Egypt, and so you brought us out here to die. They're just whining and complaining. But what we find in that time was God was leading them in a pillar of cloud by day and a fire by night. And uh, when it came time to cross the Red Sea, God moved behind the Israelites to put a barrier between them and the Egyptians. And so <clears throat> reading that story got me thinking about all the different places that I have thought I wanted to go and God led me in a different direction, and I'm so grateful that he did. You know, I started out life thinking I wanted to be in sales, and so I, you know, took a bunch of sales jobs, sold cars, sold encyclopedias, sold water softeners, sold shoes, sold all sorts of stuff, and yet that really wasn't what God had for me. So then I went into law enforcement, became a police officer, thought I would retire as a police officer, and yet that's not what God had for me. He had a better plan, and so he led me on. And so there are places where I have moved to. Years ago, I remember asking God, would you just leave me in southwestern Pennsylvania for the next 20 years? And that wasn't his plan. He led me in a different direction. And then he led me to Corpus Christi, Texas, and we lived on the coast near the water, and man, I just wanted to stay there. And that's not what God had for me. He ended up moving us back to Wichita. And so here's the thing that I've seen over and over again. Where God leads me is where I tend to find the greatest joy, the greatest fulfillment, the greatest blessings in life. And I'm so grateful that he doesn't allow me to always follow after my own inclinations because he's always got a better plan for me. And that's the thing that I find over and over again, the things that are on my heart, the things that, that are the desires of my heart, what he really does is he puts me in an environment where I can do more of those very things. You know, I look back over the years, I love sales, I love business. Uh, where he's led me is now I own multiple businesses. Uh, I love serving people. That's why I, I went into law enforcement. I wanted to serve my community. Well, now I get to do that and have done that as a pastor for, you know, nearly 25 years. Um, he's led me to so much greater things than I ever could have hoped for. You know, I, I enjoyed living by the Gulf of Mexico, and yet now I get to travel all over the world, and I've seen many beaches and, and many great sunsets and been many great places. And so I'm so glad that he knows more about leading me than I know about following him, that I haven't settled 
uh, for the things that would have been, I thought, the desires of my heart. Because what I find is the dreams that he has for me, that he's put deep within me, are so much bigger than I ever realized. So just a few thoughts for you today. Hope you're having an amazing day. This week's freebie is the Make Money Online course. If you're interested in that course, send me a message and I will uh, get you set up with a login or I'll get you the download information for all of those modules. Anyway, hope you have an amazing Monday. I'll talk to you again later today.